After the flat lining is finished, it is time to begin the inner pocket. First, an elastic casing needs to be made along the top Find the edge. piece labeled inner pocket. Press with the iron if there are any wrinkles or creases from being stored. The two fold lines across the top need to be thread traced by hand, just like the strap placement line. Thread a hand sewing needle with a single thread. Do not tie a knot. Begin with the top line. Starting on the wrong side of the fabric, push the needle down, travel forward about a half an inch, and come back up through the fabric right on the line. Pull until about three inches of thread remain. Create a tailor's tack to secure the end. Go back down just in front of where you went down the first time and come back up just past where you came back up the first time. Pull until the thread is taut. Continue forward, going down through the fabric, traveling about a half an inch and coming back up, traveling about a half an inch and going back down. Creating a running stitch across the entire line. Create a tailor's tack at the end, pull until taut, and cut the thread, leaving about a 3 inch tail. Repeat the same process along the second line. Next, the sides and bottom of the inner pocket need to be thread traced using the sewing machine. With the sewing machine set to a stitch width of zero and a stitch length of four, line up the line with the needle, put the presser foot down, hold the two threads and begin sewing. Follow the line around. Do not backstitch at the beginning or end. When you reach a corner, stop, put the needle down, and lift the presser foot to turn the work until it lines up with the line as it continues. Put the presser foot down and continue stitching. Stitch until you reach the other edge of the fabric. Check that the needle is up, lift the presser foot, and gently pull the fabric out the back. Cut the threads at the beginning and end. Next, the casing needs to be pressed down. Start along the first thread traced line. Use the iron to press the fabric towards the wrong side of the inner pocket. Be sure the crease follows the line exactly. Repeat along the second line. After pressing the two folds, pin along the bottom of the casing. Be sure that the casing is lying flat. Use both horizontal and vertical pins to hold the casing in place while you sew. When pinning, remember to think about the direction of your pins. You want the point of the pins to be facing away from you when sewing. This makes them much easier to remove while stitching. Set the sewing machine to a stitch width of zero and a stitch length of three. With the needle centered, place the fabric under the presser foot. Line up the inner edge of the presser foot with the edge of the casing. Use this as a guide while sewing. 
Put the foot down, hold the threads, stitch two or three stitches, then back stitch two or three stitches. Continue sewing until you reach the stitch line. Back stitch two or three stitches, then continue forward. Continue sewing until you reach the other stitch line. Back stitch two or three stitches, then continue forward. When you reach the edge, back stitch two or three stitches, then stitch to the edge. Check the needle is up, lift the foot, remove the work to the back, and cut your threads. Press the casing. Now that the casing is ready for elastic, it is time to move on to creating the darts. 